guys welcome back okay so <laughs> many of you know already that I am just like a crazy palette addict okay I love eyeshadow palettes it's hard for me to say no it's hard for me to turn away if it's a palette that is gorgeous that I just really really feel like I need okay now since this is the case <laughs> I have decided that I'm going to start trying to shop my stash whenever it's a palette that I'm kind of on the fence about and just really take a look at the palettes I already have that I'm not showing enough love to and see, look, do I already have these colors? Do I already have these shades? It doesn't always work, <laughs> at least not for me. That doesn't always work. I still end up buying stuff, but... I do love doing comparisons and so today the comparison that I want to do for you guys is for the new color pop bye bye birdie now this color skin y'all look at this palette so pretty isn't it so pretty <laughs> yeah I couldn't resist I bought this it, okay? palette is so pretty oh my goodness I mean from the whole what is that kind of like a peacock feather or something the pink and purple and then just the way they arrange the colors in here I did use it to create this eye look today so I will be doing a video separate video for that but yeah I broke down and bought it <laughs> so, and I'm not I'm not disappointed I'm not upset that I did honey because this palette is really nice I like it there's no mirror in here I believe it's about 18 bucks on the ColourPop website. It's gorgeous though, you guys. I can't even deny. The quality is bomb. It has such a wide range of textures in here. There's really nice, soft, beautiful mattes. It has um, beautiful shimmers, some pressed glitters in here, of course, as well as a Super Shock Shadow, I believe. Just absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. So... With that being said, I know that these colors are not anything new or anything special. Several companies, brands have put out palettes either with these colors in it or with the same type of berry tone theme. So I just decided I wanted to go through my collection, pull out different palettes that I believe could possibly have these same shades in it. Just to sit here with you guys and if you guys have these palettes already, maybe you don't have to buy this palette. <laughs> Maybe you don't need to buy it. If you're on the fence, you're not sure or whatever, or you really like it and says you ain't buying it, you might already have these shades in your collection anyway. So that's what I want to do today, okay? Just get my swatch on, get my look on, and see how close some of these palettes in my collection are. Okay, so these are all the shadows in the palette except for the two pressed glitters. As you can see, it's a very, very pretty palette. I left the swatches kind of over here so I can do some comparison swatches down here from the other palettes. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the two pressed glitters on the back of my hand just so that you know what they look like. They are gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. But as you can see, they're just straight up glitter so i'm not going to focus on those today okay so let's jump right in you guys so the first palette that i want to compare to this bye bye birdie is one of my beauty glazed palettes now i haven't used this palette yet you guys this is my jupiter palette and i kind of was talking about this in my declutter video and it's kind of this is another reason why it's hard for me to get rid of palettes is because i like to use them for reference as well but as you can see, this palette is gorgeous. So let's kind of take a look at it with the Bye Bye Birdie. So this is what these two palettes look like, kind of, you know, right next to each other, one on top of the other. And they look pretty close. <laughs> they do. They look pretty similar. So let me do a few swatches out of the Beauty Glaze Jupiter and just kind of see if it has like the same tone to it. Yo. <laughs> Uh, this palette is very similar, very similar, even with the shimmers, but the mattes, I mean, it doesn't have as many of these really pretty kind of specialty shimmer shades, but <laughs> trust me, I could definitely create the same type of look 
with this Jupiter palette. So yeah, if you have this palette, I don't think you need the Bye Bye Birdie. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so next I have here this Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Palette. So cute, so pretty, and it smells like berries. <laughs> but as you can see, it's definitely a berry tone, berry themed palette. Um, it doesn't look, I don't know. I don't know, because there's some pretty light shimmers in here. And, you know, nice dark mattes, same thing. So let me just swatch a few of these and compare. Okay, so that is the Razzle Dazzle. Hmm. I would say there's a couple of shadows in there that make it a little bit similar, like this one and this gorgeous shimmer here. But, hmm. I would definitely say this black and this cool tone purple take this palette in a different direction. So yeah, I think that the Bye Bye Birdie is a little definitely more berry, berry heavy, but very pretty. Okay, you guys, next I want to take a look at my Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. Now this palette definitely has kind of that berry theme to it, but it also has like a beautiful orange in there. But there's definitely some purples and beautiful shimmers in here that kind of make me think it might be similar. So let's go ahead and do a look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do look kind of similar. So let me swatch this Queen of Hearts right quick. Okay, can we just talk about the quality of this Queen of Hearts? <laughs> quality of the queen of hearts is so bomb oh my gosh okay so just at first glance yeah i definitely feel like if you have the queen of hearts you don't need the bye bye birdie the queen of hearts actually adds you know that beautiful orange and this deeper brown so it gives you a little bit more range but you definitely have like these beautiful berry tone mattes, berry tone shimmers, gold shimmer. So yeah, it's a very nice palette and I could definitely see enough similarities to say that you can create similar looks with the um, Queen of Hearts. Okay, so next let's take a look at this Sangria eyeshadow palette from the Beauty Crop. Very reflective packaging. <laughs> Borderline annoying, <laughs> but Let's take a look at these two. So it kind of looks like the Sangria does have some similar shades as the Bye Bye Birdie, but it does kind of lean a little bit towards the blue side. So let me just swatch a few colors out of here. I won't swatch the whole thing just to compare. Okay, so these are all the shades that I would think are similar to the Bye Bye Birdie. They're definitely similarly toned as far as the berry thing goes. So yeah, there's not a lot of the light shimmery shades, so you would be missing out on that. But just the basic berry tone shades are there. I will say that just from the swatches, the quality does not feel as good as the ColourPop to me. <laughs> it just doesn't, so. But it is definitely similar. Okay, so next I have my Huda Beauty Nude palette and this one is more of a mauve themed palette. Um, it does have, you know, some beautiful glitters and shimmers in here, but it does kind of lean towards mauve. But these darker shades in here kind of make me feel like I might have, you know, a similar palette going on here. So let me go ahead and swatch this one and see what we're working with. Okay, so I'm not swatching all the shades. I'm just swatching the ones that pull you know kind of that berry color and yeah it's definitely more of a mauve lighter mauve feel from this palette even the dark shadow there it doesn't get as berry as over here so yeah close but no cigar <laughs> okay so let's take a look at this um affiano affiano <laughs> palette that I picked up off of Amazon. I did review this palette. Um, gorgeous purple palette. <laughs> okay, this palette is bomb. And I think it was only like 10 bucks. And as you can see, there are some beautiful glitters in here. 
Uh, maybe this one up here might be close to one of the glitters out of the ColourPop, but for the most part, you know, these are darker and more purple toned. So I'm just going to swatch a few of these shades just to kind of see, but yeah, I definitely feel like I can get that berry look out of here. Um, it doesn't have the pretty, beautiful, light tone shimmers like the Bye Bye Birdie does, but I think the mattes, honestly, I don't even think I need to swatch this because just looking at it, the mattes, I definitely feel I can get the same type of berry look out of this palette minus the pretty gold shimmers. So I'm not even going to swatch this because I know with these um, warmer tone purples, mixed in here that I definitely can get that berry feel from this palette. If you are curious about this palette, I will link my video above. <laughs> okay, now I do want to compare a couple of my ABH palettes to the Bye Bye Birdie just because I'm curious. Um, because looking at it, I would say no. But if I swatch it, you never know. You know, there might be some similarities there. So this is my ABH Modern Renaissance palette and this is the bye bye birdie of course so you know i kind of see a little bit of similar tone in the modern renaissance so let me just do a few swatches and check it out okay so i didn't swatch the whole modern renaissance of course just a few of the shades that i thought might be similar and yeah there's definitely some similarities there you don't get that like bold fuchsia of course but you definitely get that berry feel from the modern renaissance as well Okay, and the other ABH palette I wanted to take a look at is my Norvina. <laughs> now, out of all the Norvina palettes that I have, would you believe I have never even used this one? Never used it. This was, you know, that first one she came out. I just felt like it was so pastel and so light. So I've just never been drawn to it, but I'm going to swatch this puppy today because <laughs> I want to compare and just see how similar she is to the Bye Bye Birdie. And there's some beautiful shimmers in this palette. Gee whiz. I need to use this palette just for the shimmers. So I just swatched, you know, more of the purpley toned shadows. But yeah, you can see the Norvina definitely leans a lot more cool tone, a lot lighter. But the shimmers, oh, those shimmers are to die for. Gee whiz. But yeah, no, it's definitely not like the Bye Bye Birdie. I hope my setting is not too dark. I just really want you guys to be able to see the colors. Okay, so next I want to take a look at this Violet Voss palette. This is the Hashtag Eyeshadow palette. Absolutely gorgeous. And I really just want to take a look at this bottom row here because as you can see, this palette has like that sunset vibe to it. So it has the oranges and the golds even a nice matte black to play with but this bottom row here it has like that purple berry feel to it so I want to swatch those and compare it to the Bye Bye Birdie so this is what they look like kind of side by side I swatched a couple of the gold tone shimmers just to kind of see what was happening and they are very very pretty but they're way darker and way more pigmented than the bye bye birdie but the bottom row definitely gives me berry vibes so yeah i would say it's pretty similar who doesn't love a good swatch fest right <laughs> okay so just two more palettes in my collection that i want to compare this one is the venus xl palette and honestly i don't feel like i need to swatch this oh Y'all, I love this palette. Oh, this palette is so gorgeous. Okay, if you've never seen this palette, prepare to be amazed. <laughs> Look at this baby, honey. If you like berries, burgundies, pinky mauves, this palette is uh, so bomb, okay? Look at it. Just look at it. It is so gorgeous, okay? I love this palette, and the quality is A1. <laughs> so honestly, I really don't feel like I need to swatch this palette because I know that these shadows are similar. <laughs> I know that they are. 
just from using it and everything else okay i know they're similar but if you have this venus xl honey you don't need to buy by birdie save your money okay because they are very similar and this is a bomb palette unless you like pressed glitter <laughs> If you don't have some pressed glitter and you just dying to have pressed glitter, then fine, you know. But if you have this Venus XL, yeah, it's gorgeous. I need to play with this some more. <sighs> okay, and the last palette that I want to take a look at, which I know this one has similar shades as well, is this Morphe. And it is the Morphe 39S. Okay, now <laughs> this palette has almost every purple, pink, mauvey rosy shade that you would ever need okay but yeah this palette is humongous it has such a beautiful range of colors with the purples with the shimmers all the beautiful shimmers in the middle and the beautiful burgundy rosy shades pinks it even has this you know pressed glitter in here but let's just kind of hold them up <laughs> It's funny comparing these because honestly, it's just like a small fraction of this, but I will swatch some of the colors that I think would be similar from here to the Bye Bye Birdie. So as you can see, you can definitely get the same type of burgundy look. It even has the beautiful bright fuchsia shades in here as the Bye Bye Birdie palette. Now with the Morphe palette, a lot of the shimmers and stuff are very, very light because they're more like toppers than straight up shimmer so they don't have that like pop but they do add a nice you know level of shimmer and glimmer to your eye look so yeah if you have the 39s you definitely don't need the bye bye birdie not at all gorgeous <laughs> absolutely gorgeous okay so those are just some palettes that i wanted to compare to the new color pop bye bye birdie just so if you have some of those in your collection already maybe you don't need to purchase this you know if you're not a makeup collector hoarder addict like i am you can save yourself some coin okay but yeah so it's there's a lot of palettes out there with similar shades similar colors you can create similar looks with and you know it's kind of up to you it gives you some options so that's it you guys for this video comparing palettes to the bye bye birdie hopefully you have fun just watching me swatch and kind of see <laughs> how similar palettes can be that are out here on the market so thank you so much for hanging out with me and i will see you on my next video Toodles.